Welcome in this section. In this section, we'll be looking at the topic of customer churn analysis. So we will see what a churn analysis is. We will be calculating that churn using quantitative metrics in Apache Spark. Also, we'll be calculating churn using quality metrics. So quantitative and quality. And in this first video, we'll be analyzing customer churn quantitative using data frame queries. So we will see what a churn analysis is and also a quantitative analysis. We'll be writing and testing our code in Apache Spark. So we'll be using and leveraging data frame API to implement such functionality. So let's describe of what a churn analysis is. So it says how many customers we had in the time frame. Then we can compare that number to the next time frame. So for example, we want to analyze one month of transactions and compare it to the next month. And using that measurement, we can calculate churn. We can take one year as a time frame and another year as another time frame. So it is up to us. And if that churn is higher than one, it means that we are gaining new customers because there was more customers, unique customers in next month than in the previous one. So it means that we get new customers. If that churn analysis result will be lower than one, it means that we lost customers because in the previous month that we analyzed, there was more customers than in the current month. So it means that we lose some customers. And here, for example, we have data set of customers and those blue ones are those that arrive to our service in the next month. And it means that we had more customers. So churn analysis will have more than one result. So let's implement it in Apache Spark. So we are creating a churn analysis class that extends our function suit from Scala test. Next, we need to build a Spark session object that has master local. It means it will start on the local machine. Next, let's write a test when we should calculate customer churn based on quantity. First thing that we are doing inside of the body of this method is importing Spark SQL context implicit. It will give us an ability to create a data frame out of the RDD. So firstly, we are creating an RDD using make RDD method and passing list of transaction. Transaction is a case class, as we can see, that has multiple fields. It has user ID, year, when transaction happened, month and day. And at the end, we have amount of that transaction. So we are creating multiple transactions. First transaction is for some user that is random one in month that is 11. Next, another transaction in the same month, another one, another one, and that's all. So we have four transactions in November. Next, we have transactions in December, and there is only two transactions in December. And we want to calculate churn comparing November to December using data frame API. At the end, we need to call that to DF method that will create a data frame out of list of our transactions. We want to use data frame SQL like syntax. So to achieve that, first thing we need to create temporary view. So we are using a create or replace temp view method transactions, and it will create some kind of SQL table. It will be a temporary view in memory, but we can use that table to query it. Next, we want to fetch all transactions that happen in November. So we are specifying that transactions where year is equal to 2017 and the month is November, and we are counting all occurrences of such transaction. And second thing that we need to do when we want to calculate that churn is to take transactions from December. So we are taking where year is 2017 and month is December and we are counting it. At the end, we are dividing 
transactions that were found in December by the transactions found in November. And we can see that we had lower amount of transactions, so churn will be equal to 0 0.5. So let's start our test and see if it calculates our churn. And we can see that our test passed, so we calculated churn properly. 